In this video I'm gonna show you 10 crazy, unique and a bit weird DIYs for back to school. Notebooks, pens, school bags, pencil cases and much much more. Check it out! Okay, I know that going back to school may not be your favorite thing in the world, but you gotta admit that preparing for new school supplies, backpacks and all that stuff is a pretty exciting part. And this year I want you guys to have the coolest school supplies at your school, so I put together the most crazy, unique, epic DIY school supplies you've ever seen. I'm gonna show you 10 ideas and Sue from the channel DIY Lover will show you another 10. Her video will be linked at the end of this tutorial and in the description bar. But let's not wait any longer because school is almost here, come on! We're gonna kick off with this epic bottle pencil case. It's hard to imagine that it's actually made out of plastic bottles because it looks so cool. Take two bottles, a zipper, glue gun and scissors. Cut your first bottle right below the point where it starts getting narrow. This is just below its neck. The second bottle needs to be cut much lower as this one will act as a lid to our pencil case. When both bottle pieces are ready it's time to grab a zipper. Place it on a flat surface and apply a bit of glue on each side of the zipper like this. While the glue is still soft, stick on the bottle pieces. Apply the glue all along both sides of your zipper. Then simply roll both bottle parts down so that they stick to the zipper firmly. That's it! If your zipper is too long, you can cut away any extra, otherwise you're pretty much done with this awesome pencil case. I love how inexpensive this DIY is, plus it's a great way to recycle empty bottles. To make your new pencil case even more epic, you can also decorate it with stickers or sharpies. These pens are so unique, pretty and sparkly, no wonder that everyone would like to have one. But hey, you gotta make your own. And relax, I got your back because I'm gonna show you how to make these glittery, bendable liquid pens with lava effect. I know, awesome, just awesome. To make these magic pens, we'll need a transparent pipe, baby oil, water, a white pen, food coloring, glitter and a glue gun. Take a pen that should be about as white as your transparent pipe. Unscrew the front part of the pen, take one ink refill and save the end cap for later. Fill the front of the pen with a bit of glue and stick the ink refill in the center. Grab your PVC pipe and apply some glue on the inner part of one side. Quickly stick in the front piece of the pen. You can also screw it a bit so that the glue really grabs all the edges and makes our pen waterproof. Now it's time to mix together the liquids. Take a bit of food coloring, I went for orange and mix it with water. Use a syringe or a funnel to pour some of the liquid in the pipe of your pen. Fill it about halfway. The most exciting part to me is adding glitter. So go crazy and pour a lot of glitter in the tube. I went for several colors like dark blue, orange, silver and even some light blue stripes and stars. Yep, a full on party in a pan. Suck some baby oil into a syringe and use it to fill up the pan until it's almost completely full. Apply hot glue all around the edge of the pipe. Make sure that you're using glue with a good hold for this as it has to make our pen waterproof. Lastly cover the opening with the end cap that we've saved earlier. Yay, we're all done with this gorgeous glittery bendable liquid lava pen. <laughs> what a mouthful. I also made one in pink and blue, so pretty. I wanted to make mine extra crazy so I used long piece of PVC pipe but you can totally make yours shorter. Like this one for example, how cute right? I seriously think these pens look amazing and I really enjoyed making them. When I said we're making crazy and weird DIYs today, I wasn't joking. The next one is a notebook made using potatoes. 
I remember making potato stamps in primary school and I have to share with you this unusual but really cool painting method. You need a notebook, a piece of white cardstock paper, a potato, double-sided tape, acrylic paint, paintbrush and a black permanent marker. Take an inexpensive notebook and stick on a few pieces of double-sided tape or use any other glue of your choice. Place a piece of white cardstock paper on top and we got a plain white notebook ready to be decorated. For the watermelon notebook cut your potato in half. Cut it again to get a potato quarter which works perfectly for a watermelon stem. Squeeze some red acrylic paint from the tube. Use paintbrush to apply it on one potato side and we're ready to start stamping. Press the potato on your notebook cover to get a yummy watermelon print. I like how this stamping technique makes the shapes kind of imperfect and rustic. I think it looks beautiful. Besides the red watermelons, I also want some orange ones. Using orange acrylic paint and another potato quarter, I'm making orange prints on all the empty areas of the notebook. Okay, now let's make these red and orange half circles look like real watermelons. Dip your brush in green paint and draw a line below each red half circle. Leave a bit of white in between to make it look more realistic. For the finishing touch, grab a black pen or marker and draw a few seeds to each of the watermelon slices. This detail really brings the design together and makes the watermelons look so real and yummy. Watermelon is such a pretty fruit, I love its colors. Plus I like how it reminds me of summer and it tastes delicious. All these facts combined, this notebook just makes me so happy only by looking at it. You can make any kind of shape using potatoes. Here I made triangle stems from the potato halves. Put on a bit of acrylic paint of your choice. I'm gonna use three colors and the first one is green. Press it on the notebook cover and there you have a beautiful triangle print. My next color is pink, then a blue and repeat. I went for the pattern where every other row has triangles turned upside down. You can see that even if you're bad at freehand drawing like I am, you can still make beautiful creations using paint. You really can mess it up with potato stamping. I honestly had such a great time making these potato notebooks and they turned out so cute. You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm gonna show you how you can make an awesome pencil case out of trash. <laughs> no, out of your favorite candy bag. This DIY is so much fun and let's be real, it looks absolutely adorable. You'll need a bag of candy, duct tape, glue gun and a zipper. Take your scissors and trim away the upper and the bottom edge of your bag. Flip it around and make a vertical cut along the candy bag. Next step, eat all the yummy candy. <laughs> Just kidding, you can totally save some for later because that's a lot of sugar. Now you need to decide how big you want your pencil case to be. I want mine quite small so I'm cutting away the sides and I'm left with about 8 by 8 inch square. Take some duct tape or washi tape and use it to cover the back of your candy wrapper. This will make our pencil case more sturdy and durable. Grab a zipper and place it on a flat surface. Apply a stripe of glue along one side. You can use hot glue or any other glue that has a good hold. Stick the candy wrapper sheet on like that. Flip your work around and temporarily fold the zipper down. I'm using some hair clips to help it stay in place. Apply a stripe of glue along that side of zipper as well and fold the candy wrapper up to stick it in place. This is what we have so far. Unzip the zipper and flip your pencil case inside out. Glue the sides together like this. It's really important to have the pencil case unzipped at this point, otherwise you'll never be able to flip it inside out. Ok, the glue has set, so flip your work around to reveal your gorgeous candy pencil case. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? Candy bags are always so colorful and pretty. And the fact that you can turn the wrapper of your favorite candy into an amazing pencil case is just the best thing ever. With this one, you would totally win school's most creative pencil case award if such thing existed. Desk organizers out of old jeans? I told you we're making weird DIYs today. This one is super easy and handy. You know when you're making shorts out of jeans you always just use the top part? Well this is a great DIY that makes use of the bottom part of your jeans. We're gonna need the bottom part of any jeans or pants, scissors and a glue gun. Start by cutting about 7 inch long piece of fabric from your jeans. Flip it inside out. Take a glue gun and apply a stripe of glue along that freshly cut side. Fold the edge up and hold till the glue sets. Apply a bit more glue and stick the back piece of fabric on as well. Now we're left with a little pocket. Turn it on one side and fold it down like this. Apply a drop of glue on the bottom corner and fold it up. Do the same on the top corner but this time fold it down. Flip the pocket, basket or whatever you wanna call it inside out. I like to roll the top edge down as I think it looks even more cute this way. 
to jazz up these organizers I decided to stick on some jeans patches. You can also use patches or fabric markers to make your organizers all nice and pretty. They look so adorable and they are super handy to have on your desk. You can put in your pens and pencils or other desk necessities like paper pins, tape and so on. These jeans pockets will keep your desk tidy and organized plus they look totally cute so they are a perfect little desk decor. I love this DIY because it's so creative and different. It will only take you a few minutes to make and I bet you already have all the supplies at home. You need an old lipstick, a pencil and a small piece of baking paper. Pull the eraser out of the pencil ferrule. Now roll a piece of parchment paper around the top part of your pencil like this. Secure it in place with a piece of tape and set it aside for a minute. Next we gotta melt our lipstick. Make a double boiler, take a piece of lipstick and place it in the glass container. Optionally you can also add some glitter, but remember to use lipstick grate or edible glitter. Wait for the lipstick to melt. Give it a little stir and pour the mixture in the lipstick mold that we've made earlier. I like to pour it up to a quarter or half an inch above the pencil end. Finally we can unwrap the parchment paper to reveal our awesome lipstick pencil. I think it turned out so cool and I love all that blue glitter. I also made one blue lipstick pencil. And I have a tutorial on my channel on how to mix up epic lipsticks from scratch using different methods. You can tell how much I like these lipstick pencils by how many I've created. Look at this galaxy inspired one, so gorgeous. You never know when a cute guy will walk into your classroom and these lipsticks will have you ready at all times. I'm kidding, with or without lipstick you are just as beautiful. But this is a really cool DIY and you'll be the only person at your school who has a lipstick pencil, which is quite awesome. This is probably one of the coolest backpacks I've ever seen and you can have one too. You can make this beautiful snapchat rainbow filter design on any kind of school bag or backpack that you own. We'll need a backpack, paint brushes and fabric paint. First I like to sketch the design on my backpack. You can skip this step and paint directly but I would mess it up for sure cause freehand painting is not my thing. Alright, time to grab the fabric paint. For the lips you can use any color like red, pink or even nude. I went for red since red's a classic. I get asked a lot about the fabric paints, whether they last, if they are washable etc. And yes, fabric paint is completely washable. So no worries if rain catches you on your way to school, your backpack should be totally fine. Of course we want our backpack to have a big bright smile so here I'm coloring the teeth in white. To make the edges neat and precise, rest your elbow on the table and move your brush slowly. There we go, a perfect smile. For the rainbow vomit, oh that doesn't sound appealing, I should rather call it rainbow waterfall or just rainbow fall. Anyway, for the rainbow feel free to use any colors that you have. I don't have a violet or orange fabric paints, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use what I have. So I colored the first wavy stripe in pink and the next one in dark blue. I could also mix blue and pink to get a purple, but I decided to keep it simple and make a little bit different rainbow waterfall. You can use any kind of fabric backpack for this DIY. It could be white or a darker one like mine here. I actually think that this colorful design looks so pretty on the darker background. The rainbow is done and the backpack looks stunning already. If you look at the snapchat filter you can see that there are some white stars here and there on the rainbow. So dip your brush in white and draw a bunch of plus signs to represent the stars. A flat tip brush works best for drawing such thin lines. Voila, our backpack is complete and I couldn't be happier with the result. I think it looks so cool, unique and trendy. Awesome backpacks can be very expensive, while well, you get plain ones for only a few dollars. So this year make your own dream school bag. You'll save some money and have a lot of fun crafting. Who shall we examine today? Actually, we don't have time today. Let's continue with lessons. <sighs> School can get very stressful and nerve-wracking, so I had to include an easy DIY stress ball in this tutorial. Even if you're not at school, these are so squishy and fun to play with. To make your own stress ball, all you need is a balloon, water and cornstarch. Turn the heat on and pour about 2 deciliters of water in a pan. Add a spoonful of cornstarch. Keep stirring until the mixture thickens and you get a gel-like consistency. Take the mixture from the heat and pour it into an empty plastic bottle. Now blow your balloon, I chose this yellow one to go well with my snapchat backpack. Something like this is more than enough. Twist it a couple of times to prevent the air from escaping and attach it to the bottle opening like this. To fill up the balloon simply turn the bottle upside down. You may need to shake it a little to make the gel fall down and fill the balloon up. 
Pinch the balloon at the top and pull it from the bottle. Let the air escape from the balloon so you only have the gel inside and make a knot. You can make your stress ball smaller or larger depending on how much gel you pour into it. We're finished! This is so satisfying and squishy. You can also tie a short piece of string around your balloon like that and attach it to your school bag. That way you have it on hand whenever school becomes too stressful. And I also think it looks very nice as a little decor. Anyway, whether you still go to school or not, this is a really simple and enjoyable DIY to make. For all you cereal lovers, I have a fun DIY that makes use of your empty cereal boxes. We're gonna transform them into pretty desk organizers. What we need is some wrapping paper, cereal box, scissors and a tape. First you have to cut your cereal box diagonally like this. Now take a wrapping paper of your choice. I went for this bright green one. To cover the cereal box, start in the same way as if you would be wrapping a present. The only difference is the top part where we have the diagonal opening. Here I like to make 4 straight cuts going up to the cardboard from the cereal box. As soon as you feel that you have reached the cardboard, stop cutting. Lastly, fold the wrapping paper inside the box. You can also secure it in place with a piece of tape. There we go, our cereal box organizers are finished. I also made one using hot pink wrapping paper because you know, I love me some pop of color in my room. I think they look very pretty on the desk, plus they will keep all your notebooks organized. What an easy and inexpensive DIY, right? Sara, you're sleeping again! Let me present you world's most gorgeous and epic notebook, which also doubles up as a sleeping pillow. You know, like water bed, this is a water pillow. I'm completely obsessed with this glittery liquid notebook, which is inspired by Fimo Kawaii emotions. Even though this DIY looks out of this world amazing, it's actually very easy to make. For your own glittery liquid notebook, you will need a notebook, two sheets of acetate paper, glitter, food coloring, baby oil, and a piece of parchment paper. With the help of an exacto knife and a ruler, cut a rectangle piece out of the center of the cover. I play the cutting sheet under the cover to protect other pages in the notebook. We're left with a notebook cover that looks like a picture frame. Set that aside and let's now work on the waterproof pocket. Put two transparent acetate sheets into the fold made from a piece of baking paper. Take an iron and iron along the edge. Heat will melt the plastic and seal the sheets together. One side is done, we still have to melt these two edges. When the plastic melts, it turns white. This is when I know that the edge is 100% sealed and waterproof. The most exciting part of this DIY is making the magic glittery liquid. Grab two glasses and fill up the first one with water and the second one with baby oil. Take a bit of food coloring, I went for the blue one and mix it with water. Grab any kind of glitter or sequin of your choice and mix it in the baby oil. Then just take a moment to admire how pretty this thing looks. No joke, when I was filming this, I totally took a break and was playing with this glitter liquid for 10 minutes because it's just beautiful. Okay, let's continue. With the help of a funnel, pour the glittery oil and colored water inside the waterproof pocket. Oil and water don't mix, so together they will create this awesome lava effect. To make our liquid pocket completely waterproof, we need to iron the top edge as well. Do that in the same way as earlier using a piece of parchment paper and an iron. There we have it, our liquid glitter pocket is all done, looking rather phenomenal, so let's quickly stick it on the notebook. Take a glue gun or other glue with a good hold and apply it all around the inner side of your notebook cover. Last step is to stick it on the liquid pocket and we're finished with the hands down most amazing notebook my eyes have ever seen. I wanted to make mine look like a galaxy, so I went for blue water and loads of blue glitter and sequin. I think being generous with glitter really makes this notebook so mind-blowingly awesome. You can find a great selection of inexpensive glitter online. They have all the possible colors too. I'm kinda tempted to make these notebooks in green and pink as well because I feel like I just need them in my life. Don't spend a lot of money on pretty school supplies that everyone has, because you can make so much more epic and unique school necessities that you could ever buy in a store. That's it for this video, I hope you guys liked it and give it a big thumbs up if you want another back to school video on my channel. Also tell me down below when do you start school this year, because I know it's very different from country to country and I really want to know. Make sure to check out Sue's video for more amazing back to school DIYs and of course subscribe to her channel. I've been watching her videos for years and I love how unique and creative her DIYs are. Thank Thank you so much for stopping by, I love you guys, take care and I'll see you soon, bye! Whether it concerns school supplies or life in general, don't be afraid to go your own way and stand out, because that's exactly what makes you so special and unique.